Hey guys, it's Jake Mace with jakemace.com. On YouTube, over the last many years, I've uploaded several dozen videos about the bow staff. They have millions and millions of views already. People love this weapon. It was the first weapon I ever learned how to use within the Chinese martial arts I've been practicing since I was a teenager. Now we even have a bow staff DVD or a DVD download you can get from jakemace.com. Every bow staff video I film for my online school at jakemace.com, as well as for YouTube, gets tons of comments of, Jake, what kind of bow staff are you using? And where can I get one? So years ago, we began featuring a rattan full skin bow staff on jakemace.com, just like the one I use. And yesterday, I uploaded the bow staff video here to the YouTube channel, a brand new one. And I started getting the comment of, Jake, I got a bow staff from you from your website, but I don't know how to size it. I don't know how to make it appropriate for my height or for me. And so I started looking back at my YouTube Rolodex. I started searching on my bow staff videos and I thought in my brain that I had made a video years ago of me unboxing a bow staff from jakemace.com and cutting it and showing you guys how to make it to size. I couldn't find it. I think in my brain I remembered uploading it but I never actually uploaded it. So today we're going to do it together for sure. I got a bow staff here right in front of me that came to me from jakemace.com. And if you notice, I'm six foot, two inches tall with these shoes on, six one barefoot. And this is way too tall for me. It's like seven plus feet tall. So there's no way that I could spin this the way I need to spin it to be effective, proficient, and to be a martial artist. I gotta cut it smaller. So the first thing is get your bow step in the mail, get outside in the sun, in nature, or if you got like a woodworking shop or something, do that like a garage, use that too. Pull open the packaging here. And unveil your new rattan bow staff. It's gonna look just like this. The reason why I love this kind of bow staff is called rattan. Rattan is actually not bamboo. Bamboo is a completely different plant than rattan. Rattan I believe is in the palm tree family and it's actually a vining style of palm tree that can grow I think in some cases hundreds of feet long and so it sometimes climbs its way through the jungles and when they harvest rattan they put similar sizes with similar sizes so this one is about an inch and a quarter thick I find that one inch is too thin but inch and three quarter two inches is too thick the inch and a quarter has been my favorite diameter over the years and the reason why I like rattan, because it's flexible, yet strong. I could take this guy and bend it pretty well, and it will take abuse over the years, but it's not gonna snap. If you guys use oak, or hardwood, or redwood, or normal style of wood pole, it's gonna snap the first time it's hit. Rattan gets its strength from its flexibility. It's also great that I'm making this video because I need a new rattan bow staff really, really badly. The one I'm using now, I had used it in a Tonfa video a few months ago and really had unleashed the Tonfa fury on it. So I need a new one. Inside the package, you notice there's another little piece of rattan left over. And that's because when these bow staffs are originally cut, they're cut a little bit longer for shipping purposes. And they figured instead of wasting the extra piece, they would just put it in the package as well. So you guys can use this as a short stick for when we do stick fighting later on. So save this in your closet, in your weapons cabinet, wherever you want to put it, somewhere safe. Put it in your car, under your bed. Use this as your stick weapon. The next step I have to do with my new rattan bow staff is figure out which part of it I want to cut off. So I usually look at this part. This part has some sort of like paint on there. It's kind of very smooth right here. There's a little crack right there. Wherever these were grown, the person who harvested them put the yellow paint on there. And this end, ooh, this one's nice. It has some kind of like tiger striping. A little bit of grain right there. I like this end's look better. Just aesthetically, this makes me feel better on my inside. So I'm gonna keep this side, and I'm gonna cut this side off. So I have to measure it the exact same height that I am. And usually what you can do is you can customize it. So we're gonna stand it up. You know, with these shoes on, I'm 6'2". So I'm gonna put it next to me, take my hand, and get it just approximately wherever my head is. Kinda just measure. Am I, am I keeping it straight? right about there and that's about where I should cut it to be appropriate for training with but some of you might like a shorter staff some of you might like a longer staff so before you cut it 
figure out, do you want it to be an inch longer or an inch shorter? You might want to cut it one inch longer than your head because you can always cut more off later. If you cut it too short in the beginning, you can't add more back. Okay, so I'm gonna make it exactly my height, exactly my height. So the top of my head, right to here, exactly my height right there. And I never use a marker for marking my line because the rattan has so much grain in it and so many features that I just look where I put my thumb and I say, okay, that piece of grain right there, there's a little blip right there. I'm gonna just cut right on that blip. But if you guys wanted to be a good woodworker, you could take a marker and draw a line. Then I'm gonna take some kind of a table. Like I had this old palm tree stump here. And you could put clasps or something to hold it steady. But I'm going to just put my rattan on the palm tree stump and then use my foot here to hold it in place. Then I got my hacksaw. And I'm gonna show you guys the old world way, the manual saw. You can always use a modern day electric saw. But I really want you guys to exercise safety. You know, one mistake with this saw and you're gonna become the nine-fingered warrior, okay, or the one-armed warrior. So make sure when you're using the saw to cut your staff, be careful and do so at your own risk. So there's my mark right there that I made earlier. I'm gonna hold my hand and my foot on there and keep it still and just start to saw. There we go. That took me all but 30 seconds. Now I have an additional stick. So when my friends out there who practice Filipino martial arts in Kali come looking for me, I'll have a couple short Eskrima sticks to do some battle with them with. So that's pretty cool that I got two sticks out of this as well for no extra cost. And now I have a perfect rattan bow staff here. That's exactly my height. There's one more step I wanna show you guys that I do before I show you the next step. I gotta tell you guys, these rattan bow staffs are all unique. Each one is unique. Not two are the same because they're natural. They're from the earth. So when you guys get your rattan bow staff, that's the one you're supposed to have. The universe sent that one to you and you have to grow with your bow staff. My teachers taught me that the weapon for a Chinese Kung Fu practitioner becomes a part of them. It's an extension of their body. And you wanna treat your weapon with respect because it was plucked from the earth. The earth donated a part of itself to you to train you. And so you have to give the same respect back to your weapon. So now that I have this weapon in front of me, I'm already getting used to it. I'm getting used to the grain, how it looks. And if you guys come in close, I'm getting used to also these little collars right here. Each of these little collars that it has can be sharp. When you first get it, it's possible that if your hand is sliding up or down the bow staff when you're using it, it could slice the webbing of your hand right here. So it's important for us to smooth that out a little bit. So I've got some really coarse grade sandpaper. I'm gonna lay my bow staff back on my stump and I'm gonna just spend about five minutes kind of working each of those collars to smooth them out so that they're less sharp. I don't wanna hurt the nice finish in between those. So just a little bit in between to knock the edge off those collars. Actually of all the bow stats I've ever had in my life, this one has a really nice heavy weight to it. The collars are perfect. It's actually one of the nicest ones I've ever had. So I think this bow staff and myself are gonna have an ancient relationship together. We're gonna travel this earth together and kick some ass and get some muscle and gain some longevity together. Oh, now it's so smooth. Just that little bit of sanding really helped to knock the sharp edge off each of those collars. So now as I'm hitting and lengthening and shrinking the staff, I'm not gonna cut my hands open. You guys, that's it. The last thing that I would tell you to do is if you're gonna bring your staff anywhere, put some sort of a mark on the top with your initials on it. So usually I'll put a JM right there for Jake May so that when we get around other martial artists, nobody takes my baby, okay, this is mine, that will have my JM on it. And I'll treat this guy with respect for years to come. If you guys wanna get one of these rattan bow sets with the full skin, 
The one that I use, go to jakemace.com, look for the weapons drop down menu. If you want to get some more exotic bow staffs, like the collapsible bow staff or the aluminum or steel bow staffs I've featured here before, there are links down below to where you can order all those exotic bow staffs. They're all great, but in my heart and in my soul, I'm a traditional martial artist who likes the traditional methods of training and so I enjoy the traditional staff right here. I want to show you guys how to use the bow staff. Not only how to spin it, but how to block with it, how to attack with it, and how to train with it. So at the end of this video, in about 15 or so seconds, we're going to cut to a couple of video links you can click on, and they will also all be down below in the description and comments below. I'll see you guys on my social media, Jake Mace Tai Chi on Instagram and Snapchat. Send me a message sometime down below in the comments or on social media. I'm always enjoying the interaction with me and the students out there who are interested in the bow staff and the Chinese martial arts. I'm gonna take this packaging down here. I'm gonna burn it in my fire pit and then take the ash and use the ash in my compost for my garden, like what you see behind me. I grow a lot of my own food here. If you guys wanna check out my other YouTube channel on gardening and the things I eat for my diet, it's at Vegan Athlete. Go check it out. I've got some good little short sticks here, very short sticks to use for later. And I would love if you guys decide to get a bow staff from me. When you get it and you cut it and you sand it and you begin using it, send me a picture on Facebook, Instagram, or Snapchat and let me know how you're enjoying it, a picture or a video. I really love seeing who's getting these bow staffs and how you are putting them to use. Go down below, description, comments, watch one of my other bow staff videos, start getting some skills, and I'll see you guys back here next time for the next video.